Thank you very much, members of the Fourth Estate. Uh, I was just getting into Akesha because today is Friday and we normally get into Akesha tonight. And I've just been, I've just caught the news that the former president of Kenya, Uhuru Kenyatta, is uh, all over social media and all over news saying that uh, he's being harassed. I want to say this. First of all, it is so wrong. The, this government has been trying very hard to fight against alcoholism. The president or the former president cannot come and address the nation well in, in such drunken stupor. It is such a bad show to the young people, to the country, that we're trying to fight alcoholism, and such a person of high stature, a next president, can come and address the nation in such drunkenness. You know, drugs are known to give people hallucinations. And I am sure what I have heard the former president saying are hallucinations that he got in what he was doing. So I want to say this. The president has over 100 police officers. The entire Gatundo South has only 70. So this president is well guarded. He is talking of people that he saw, he did not see, he did not see them, he did not hear them. He's just saying that there were people and he calling them the police. They are not the, they are, that was not the police, and the government cannot be blamed for things that you have imbibed, for things that you've consumed, and they're giving you hallucinations. I want to say this to former president. We have known all this time that you have been harassing people. You have been financing Mandamano. You have been financing destruction of property in this country. Now, just an imagination that people could come to your place is making you go all over and be a crybaby. I want to tell you this. We have just heard that right now, and that's why we said we are going to respond immediately in this darkness. We, will not, we have suspended our Kesha to come and address drunkenness in this country. And drunkenness cannot be used to attack the government. So please, Mr. Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, you have gone to Nyeri and other places uh, targeting the Vijana Wale Wakule Chini. I think you have a better client. You have a client that you need to rehabilitate so that this country can go in the right way because people are likely to be swallowed into the nonsense of one individual saying that I've been, I'm being attacked and this, that, the other. There's nothing like that that has happened. The police have been very busy today. We do not have any police officer who has time because they've been guarding people's property and people's lives because there has been mandamano that has affected their lives. So therefore, I want to tell Mr. Uhuru Kenyatta, we respect you. Please respect yourself. Reciprocate the respect we have for you to yourself, not even to us. Even as you, even, we know you don't, you don't respect us. You have said it right now that you did not support this government. And it is why you fought the government. It is why you still keep fighting the government. It has never crystallized in your head that William Ruto is now the president. The seat that you held and you keep telling us to respect you, that presidency is now occupied by none other but that, than Dr. William Samoy Ruto. Please respect the presidency. Please. That respect, that respect you're asking for, for the presidency, please reciprocate. You may not respect uh, Dr. William Samoy Ruto, you must respect the seat he holds because that is a seat that unites this country. And that is a demand that we shall not stop demanding of you. We must ask you to respect that seat of the presidency. Raisi Ruto Asante sana.